Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 24th, 2020. Yesterday, we had, well, in the morning market prep video yesterday, I mentioned that there were reasons to, to act a little bit cautious, to be concerned about the potential that we might see some selling. We ended up yesterday with a little bit of selling, but it wasn't enough to break trends. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we saddle up and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the morning market prep video. So yesterday we had the um, jobless number come out and it showed an increase in joblessness. And actually um, the overall total, we have about 30 million people that remain unemployed. And with the pressures of the pandemic continuing to rise, there is a concern that we could see that joblessness grow over the next few weeks. And that really started to apply some pressure yesterday to the market and made and the bears made a relatively rare appearance um, and showed some strength yesterday in a bit of a sell-off that, well, raises a little bit of concern here for the market. However, having said that, we if we look at the um, overall trends here in the market, if we take a look at the Dow, we haven't we haven't broken any trends in fact even the short-term trend remains intact although we did pull back and it was pretty painful you know we can get one of the things that we have to remember um, right now is even a pullback like this that looks like nothing on the chart was actually a 350 point decline um, in the dow so um, we can get these really big moves um, in this market and it looks like little to nothing in the chart which can make these moves rather painful depending on how uh, traders on when traders entered those positions so let's watch this pretty closely we're holding support in this area in the Dow and so far, um, nothing here has broken the current trends, um, but there is reason for some caution. Let's take a look at our moving averages here. If we kind of scope out our moving averages, you can see that we're still um, on pace for that 50 to cross up through that 500 and 200. And we are holding, um, remain holding above that uh, 200 day moving average. However, we also have this little complication up here of this island reversal that um, we have been challenged by in the Dow. And so far, we have been unable to break through that level into that island reversal on the Dow. That being said, let's take a look at the SPY. SPY did break through that and confidently held that level, broke through that island reversal yesterday and confidently held that held that level yesterday. Um, I mean, the day before yesterday. And even though we did get that selling move that put in kind of an ugly candle here on the chart, we ultimately ended up holding the support of that island reversal. We haven't broken down yet. So, um, trends are still intact here in the chart. The question kind of remains is with another big round of government stimulus coming out and the way I wrote it in the morning blog this morning, you guys might want to uh, check out the morning blog. You'll see a link right under, um, right under the title of today's video uh, to be able to go to that blog. My question is whether or not we will be able to see the bears actually follow through um, with that selling um, as the bulls really continue to bask in the glow of freshly printed money. And we know Congress is likely to um, expand um, that stimulus next week. So whether or not the bears can actually follow through that's going to be an interesting question to answer for today 
And as we kind of head into that uncertainty of the weekend, while the U.S. and China play this dangerous game of uh, economic chess, I guess, um, and we have uh, the rising um, pandemic pressures on the economy, it's going to be interesting to see how the market deals with that as we slide into the weekend. So here in this chart on the SPY, you can see we are still holding up confidently in um, our uptrend. Our 50 is up through our 200 day. So as of right now, there's no real major concern here, but there is reason for some caution. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ was the culprit here, and I've mentioned this several times. If we actually see some of the big tech giants begin to sell off, off, it's going to be very, very difficult for the indexes to show positive returns. And the reason is, is because these big tech giants now monopolize such a huge weight in their indexes. Um, all it takes is a little bit of selling of those tech giants and we could see indexes start to slip. So watch that carefully. Now, overall, we have um, the NASDAQ continuing to hold in its trend and we haven't broken down any major supports yet, but we do have a pattern here that's a little concerning. And that is that possibility that we have created a double top high in the NASDAQ. Now, that's only going to become valid if we start breaking down some of these support levels um, in the chart and maybe breaking trend. Right now, we're holding that up. There is reason for concern here, but there's uh, no evidence yet that we're really ready to just crack these trends to the downside. So watch that carefully. As a matter of fact, we could push down into this level and find that those bulls are tenacious enough to say nope 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 we're gonna start buying here and push this market back up so watch it close and then IWM IWM um, was surprisingly the strongest of the indexes yesterday holding up quite well um, no particular selling showing up in here so we're wedged in here between a 500 day moving average, which we have failed before, and a 200 day moving average that we're trying to hold on to in IWM. So keep a close eye on that. IWM may be trying to emerge as um, one of the stronger indexes right now. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, boy, doggone it. It's, I mentioned yesterday that um, it's it it's almost in my entire career I've never looked at a VIX this elevated and even once thought about the possibility that the market is complacent but I got to tell you I I really am considering that the market it has put a lot of complacency or is very complacent right now. Um, in this rally and that possibility that we could find a floor in here obviously the vix rose pretty sharply yesterday but nothing here changed overall we did hold well below the downtrend here in the vix there just is that little bit of concern that may be coming in if we were to get this fear spike to start um, there could be some trouble um, in the short term ahead if that were to gain a little traction. Can't say that it will, just that we need to be watching pretty carefully for it. If we get that little bit of a fear spike, it's not going to be the end of the world either unless we hold that downtrend as support and then see that fear continuing to rise. So just keep a close eye on that and just know that there are reasons to just be a little bit careful and um, very focused on the price action we're going to have to remain flexible um, and particularly as we head into the weekend consider the risk that you have because we could see that big gap either up or down on uh, Monday morning so watch that close let's take a look at T2122 and even though we saw some selling yesterday it's really interesting that the T2122 indicator did little to pull back 
So we still remain in this bearish reversal zone in T2122. That really kind of shows us with, with the amount of selling that we saw yesterday that we have been, we, we are very extended in this market considering that selling did not create any major pullback in T2122. So keep in mind, we still have that potential that we could see that additional selling push this down. We'll want to just keep a close eye on that and remember there is some reason for some caution here in the market so with that how about we take a look at our economic calendar today we do have a few things to be paying attention to on that economic calendar but nothing that is likely to create major major problems um, on the calendar if you take a look we have a PMI flash and we have new home sales the low interest rates and things like that I would absolutely assume that the new home sales are going to come in very very bullishly so keep an eye on those two numbers those might move the market around and it may embolden the bulls um, to push back or fight hard I don't expect the bulls to give up easily they've got a good thing going here they don't want to give that up so keep a close eye on on that and then on the earnings front we have a lighter day on that earnings front but it's only a little rest before the big storm of next week um, we have about 45 companies reporting earnings today we have a few notables to be made aware of if we take a look at um, AXP AXP is reporting today and you can see right now it's indicating to open about where closed we have a little bit of bullishness starting to show up here in this chart you can see that little rising low break of the downtrend work working to hold this area as support so if we get a good um, earnings report this could pop up out of here actually providing a long opportunity in AXP however it could also if that report disappoints could easily slip back down and, and break this down a little bit so stay on your toes here um, Bloomin. Bloomin is going to report today and right now it looks like it's indicating just a little bit higher which is honestly a little bit surprising in the the fact that um, restaurants um, I just can't imagine restaurants um, showing a whole lot of positiveness in their in their books right now uh, as coronavirus continues to impact these businesses dramatically let's take a look at Honeywell HON is reporting today Honeywell also showing some of that bullishness in here where we've broken through broke up above some um, resistance areas in the chart we've broken that downtrend we have this little higher low showing up in the chart and we got this little rally this little consolidation move up here as we've broken through some of these resistance levels so keep an eye on Honeywell this is one of those stocks that has that potential a little bit of bullishness in its earnings report we could pop on through to the upside we also have some utilities reporting they have been on a major run here recently you can see utilities and this is kind of a safety play something we want to consider right now that little bit of safety play going on here in um, folks reaching or reaching out for some dividend yield um, NEE pushing up into this breakout high a good earnings report might push that on through so let's keep an eye on that and then we also have NEP that will be reporting today and also once again maybe challenging all-time highs in that chart um, Schlumberger will be reporting today and we've been seeing a little bit of an increase in um, some of these oil sector stocks and not a big surprise when we devalue currency the way we have it costs more money to buy oil um, more dollars more devalued dollars to buy the same amount of oil and so we're seeing oil prices um, tick up just slightly uh, mostly because of that devaluation of the dollar I believe not because of demand um, so let's keep an eye on that Slumberger will be reporting today and that possibility this little bullish pattern in here could 
pop on through to the ebb side. And then last but not least, we've got Verizon on the calendar today. It's been showing a little bit of rally, a little bit of bullishness, and I do think this is a bit of a safety play um, that we may be seeing uh, coming into the market, some of those defensive sector stocks and, and high dividend payers um, gaining some favor here lately. This is a nice little pullback and you can see we're indicating just slightly higher here in Verizon. Nice dividend yield and that may be one of those places where folks might be reaching out here for, for a little bit more safety in the market. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, everyone, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up. Hopefully you recognize that these videos are a little bit different on what you may see other places. I avoid all the prediction. I want to look at the technicals and try to decide how I want to approach the market for the day. And I can tell you guys in my more than 15 years now of full-time trading, that has served me very well. So if you guys find that to be helpful, um, if you guys find that to be useful in your trading, if you guys could do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. Helps the channel to continue to grow and I just wanna say thank you to every single one of you who take the time to do that. It means the world to me as we continue to reach out and help more traders um, do a better job in their morning preparation. So let's take a look at a few of those stocks and remember that every time I look at one of these charts, it's a, not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It is meant as part of the education of what I do every chart you have to do your own due diligence on these trades let's take a look at some of um, the safety plays that i'm starting to see um, really gaining quite a little bit of ground we mentioned khc last week rallying up pretty strongly and you can see breaking through some resistance levels we had this nice little w bottom pattern rallying through and now we're consolidating that move up here in that chart let's keep an eye on these once again seeing some strength coming back into these old boring companies that pay nice dividends um, if that continues this consolidation out here we want to watch for that next opportunity to enter for that next leg higher in khc i know it's a boring old company and it's not in the news all the time that's one of the things that attracts me to stocks like this because they're um, the, pr the price action isn't as volatile, it's, it's um, easier to trade. So keep an eye on that KHC uh, making that move. Another place you might wanna look is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, talk about a big old boring company. Coke is that company uh, breaking that downtrend, rallying up here in this chart. Let's take, an, take note that we are pushing into some resistance levels. So I wouldn't want to chase this current move up a little little bit of rest or consolidation back here toward the trend and then look for that next opportunity um, in that chart with um, with that those kind of companies in mind um, um, there are lots of these types of stocks um, MDLZ being one constellation brands showing this recent strength and this is just some of that consumer defensive sector that has been coming up so we've got mdlz we've got clx clx that tried to break out yesterday was unable to finish through on that move but this has been in an amazing uptrend showing strength and as we slide over here to trend that possibility this nice divvy payer could um, move on um, higher colgate palm olive cl also has been trying to rally and break through so let's keep a close eye on some of these stocks as they continue to show um, just some underlying strength and maybe um, that little bit of rotation that could be happening out of the big techs into some more of safety type stocks. Now, having said that, we also saw some of the underloved tech stocks try to pick up yesterday. Um, we saw Cisco. I happen to hold Cisco, so I may be a little bit biased on this. Um, let me show you the drawings that I have here on this chart. Cisco 
um, is pushing up in toward this resistance and it saw a nice little shot of bullishness yesterday. Now there's nothing at all impressive about this chart. In fact, this really doesn't get good in a chart until we break that resistance and prove to hold it as support. So keep that in mind, Cisco trying to perk up. We're trying to deal with a big level of resistance in here. And by the way, I'm holding this not as a short term trade, but more of a longer term position hold. Uh, for that upside move. Um, so keep an eye on that. A couple other charts um, that um, had an interesting day yesterday, Jack in the Box. You can see I've had an alert here on Jack in the Box, pushing up here, trying to break into some all-time highs um, in the chart. Um, nice productive pattern, keep a close eye on that. And also saw um, Wendy's. Um, uh, all of a sudden I'm not coming up with that ticker. Keep it, um, um, keep an eye on that windy stock. Um, it is trying to move up. Nvidia tried to make a move yesterday, but suffered a little damage in that selling move yesterday, but it hasn't broken the trend. So if those bulls do step up in here and start to push back, there's still that opportunity for Nvidia to move higher in the chart. Other charts that were pretty noticeable in um, their patterns here, Johnson & Johnson, beautiful consolidation move took almost no damage in yesterday's selling. As that continues to slide over here toward the trend, watch that closely for that next opportunity higher in J&J. &J. Um, also, we might wanna keep an eye on FCX. Now, FCX reported earnings, and you can see it's showing just a little bit of bearishness this morning. Um, we'll wanna watch this carefully. This is copper has been doing quite well. And if this can hold in this area, hold that support, we might see those bulls step up here. There may be an opportunity in FCX. Now, a little bias here on my part. I made really good money on this over the last few weeks and um, just want to keep a close eye on it if it does happen to continue in its uptrend. Um, keep an eye on Disney. Disney is trying to come around here. I'm seeing some selling here in Disney this morning as coronavirus worries continue to grow. So watch that carefully. This might be breaking down this morning. We'll want to watch that to see if, if it truly does. Um, maybe off of the list for the short term. Take a look at John Deere. Um, heavy equipment has has been showing lots and lots of strength. John Deere moving up strongly, breaking through resistance levels. Nice little consolidating move as we slide over here toward trend. Watch for that next opportunity to the upside. And we can see the same thing. Um, same kind of bullishness in Caterpillar. Caterpillar pushing up towards some resistance levels in the chart, trying to show some strength here. Watch for that next potential move to the upside in Caterpillar. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And more importantly, I want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. Everyone in this rising coronavirus situation, please, please stay safe. Be careful. I want to see you right back here bright and early Monday morning for the next Morning Marker Prep video. Everyone have a great day, a great weekend, and we'll talk to you all soon. Take care now.